In this episode, I'll be answering the question, do you need to sleep more to stress less? Watch all the way to the end because the results may surprise you. Without further ado, my name is Jeremy Cologne and this is The Dark Side of Fitness, episode 45. In case you needed a quick reminder, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. So what comes first, poor sleep or burnout? It's a dilemma that's puzzled scientists for years. Of course, there's one thing we know for certain. Psychological stress and sleep deprivation can both be bad news. That's because they can impair your immune response, increase risk to your metabolic and cardiovascular health, and worsen your cognitive performance and ability to regulate your emotions. Avoiding both sleep deprivation and high stress would be ideal, but research shows they go hand in hand. So where you find one, you tend to find the other. What's less clear is the casual relationship between the two. The stress from project deadlines, never ending to-do lists, and unanswered emails drive sleepless nights, or the skimping on shot at ramp up stress levels and make everything seem worse than it is. Realistically, the answer isn't binary. Both stress and sleep problems can contribute to each other and create a vicious cycle. But Brazilian scientists collected data on 92 young adults, average age 20, and use innovative statistical methods to see if one might be more to blame than the other. How the study worked. Each day, participants use an app to log the number of hours they slept and to rate their stress levels from one to 10. Only those who follow these instructions for 30 days straight were included in results. The researchers were looking to answer four questions. Number one, after an especially short night of sleep, how long does average sleep duration take to return to normal? Number two, after an especially stressful day, how long does it take for stress levels to return to normal? Number three, does a day stress level have an effect on the next day of sleep? And last but not least, number four, does sleep duration affect the next day's stress level? Here's what the study found. For the people in the study, sleep was the instigator of stress, not the other way around. A lack of rest increased the participants' perceived stress the following day, but stress levels didn't impact the next night's slumber. This is pretty surprising here, given most people's anecdotal experience, but that's what the scientist's analysis of the data showed. Also, participants seem to recover faster from a poor night's sleep than they did from a high stress day. Here's some coaching takeaways for this study. Number one, poor sleep increases feelings of stress. Part of what makes stressful things well stressful is that they're often out of our control. You can't tell your boss to stop emailing you or wish away your child's bad grades, but you can't improve how you manage the stress you have. And sleep is an important factor here. This study suggests that even if you can't remove stress, Getting better sleep may lower your perception of that stress compared to getting worse sleep. Number two, more sleep is nearly always a good idea. Majority of adults should get seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night. Less than that amount is associated with a host of maladies such as heart and kidney disease, diabetes, and stroke, just to name a few. If you're someone who isn't achieving at least seven hours of shut eye and are feeling stressful during the day, it's best to work on your sleep behaviors, which is a great place to start. But remember, one caveat here, more sleep isn't for everyone. Too much sleep, especially sleep that's not restful, can be an indicator of problems with physical or mental health and should be evaluated by a doctor. I wanna say thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. As always, please like, subscribe, share this content with anybody who could benefit from this. And until then, see you on the next one. Take care.